Good, hot, and humid morning to you all. Welcome to part number eight of Building Uncle Dorkle. I'm just starting a little bit today, and I want to show you what I've run up against. Not a big problem, but um, we're not going to be able to put the uh, centering, eye centering springs in there. I went out and bought some more springs, uh, tighter ones and uh, shorter ones, put them in there, but there's too much friction in that pole and it still don't want to return to center. So I'm going to show you what I've done to overcome that more or less. First of all, I had gotten smaller springs, half the length. Tried cutting the other ones down and that didn't work out. Uh, and they fit very tight, but it still wants to go like here or ends here. All right, I'm going to show you what I did down below. Taking my little rat tail file here, I filed a groove in the lower coupling here so that when I'm operating this, I can feel it, the indentation, and it'll stop here. So that'll be the center of the eyes. So it's going to have to be controlled this way by me. Another thing I ran across is this. These couplings, I use this glue, model airplane glue. Apparently it does not work on the PVC pipe. I thought it would, but I glued this last night. It should all been set up and I went to start operating this thing and this whole collar turned and it slid up, it slid up and down. So what I did is I drilled some pilot holes, 16th inch holes, and put these very short screws. They don't go in very far as uh, anchors. So I anchored all these collars in place because this thing was sliding up and down, moving all over the place. So it was either do that or just go out and buy a can of uh, PVC cement and do it. So obviously model airplanes glue does not work on PVC pipe. I don't know, I'm no expert at these things. I experiment as I go along. So at least with this inden indentation here, when I'm operating this with my thumb, I can feel that this is the center. There's gonna be a little movement here. I'm not gonna worry about it. And again, these are temporary dots up here for the uh, the pupils and you know that's just an, a rough idea where they're going to be and once I get the eyes cut out made then I can put the put them in permanently whether I get the stick on ones or whatever I'm going to put in there or whether I'm even going to paint them and go from there now you're probably wondering what this thing is this is the end of a PVC uh, quarter inch uh, PVC water line that I've used inside this column here. And this is some uh, windshield washer hose, which happened to stick in. Once I get the material, I'm get some cham chamos cloth or whatever you call it, something to make the inside of the mouth with. This is gonna go in the mouth. Of course, naturally the mouth is in this area here, not under here, because this is the chin. And um, this is going to, ha I'm going to put a little, I'm going to try to find a little tiny red balloon. Um, and then have a squeeze bulb on, on this. And uh, get it, if I can get the right kind of balloon and find a squeeze bulb for this, uh, it's going to, a, a tongue is going to stick out. That's, he's going to stick his tongue out at you. Um, if, it, if that works out, this could just, this whole thing could change and I may not even use this setup. I just stuck it in there just to see how it would work and it just pushed a hole through and come down through the neck. I got to build all this neck up with masking tape anyways. So you know, I added adding this is not a big deal. Again, this might not even be used. All right, what I did here is I took a one of those big plastic coffee can covers 
which is black of course it's the smoothest piece of plastic I could find right now in the recycle bin and I put masking tape on each side of it what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw I can draw on this obviously can't on the black plastic and see what I'm doing I'm gonna draw eyes in here but before I do that I'm gonna make the eye shape using this if I screw this up no big deal if it, the shape is right, then I'll trace it out onto here. Then I just got to get the spacing. And this will be just put right on top of this. And then blend it in with the uh, rest of the uh, masking tape and so forth uh, to build the body up. The head up, I should say. Uh, the nose, of course, naturally is going to come down in the middle here. But this has to go on first. So we're going to try to get a shape of an eye. I'm no artist when it comes to stuff like this so I'm going to do a lot of experimentation and what I'll do is I'll make when I get the shape the way I want it before I transfer it to here I'll see what the shape looks like on the eyeball. I want the eyes to be very wide. They're not going to be bulging out because as you can see they're not really sticking out of the head that much. It wasn't possible because this board that wouldn't allow me to do that and um, it would take a lot of modification in order to bring the thing out so I'm not going to do that. So we'll go ahead and we're going to try to make the template now. I told you I'm no artist. This is why I'm doing it in a temporary thing. That's way out of whack. No. Nope definitely got to be shorter. The height seems to be about where I want it, but I got to make it shorter. So we got to cut another piece of plastic. I'm going to find another cover. Times like this, I wish I was an artist. Well, I'm going to cut that out with a pair of scissors. I shortened this one up with a scissors so that I wanted it a little wider, but not longer. So what we're going to do here is we're going to cut this one a little larger than what it shows here. And then I can always cut it down. And i got to figure out what do I want this end out this way. No, I think it better looks, this, looks better this way, I guess. I guess the pointed ones, more of a point goes towards the nose, I think. So if I make one for here and then reverse the thing for here. What i got to do is to get a center to center here which I established I think it was three and a half inches so I gotta make three and a half inches here uh, center mark and then put these in here so I'm gonna come back with the ruler make out the drawing and uh, draw it onto here and if I mess up drawing it onto here I can always turn this over and draw it on the other side if I screw that up then I'll just put more masking tape on it and, and go from there redraw it but I'll try to Try to see if I can get this in one shot. We'll see. This is very difficult. I made two holes, but they ended up being three inches apart. It's got to be two and a half inches. I stand corrected. It wasn't three and a half inches. It's two and a half inches from center to center on those pupils. So um, I cut the holes wider. So now. They put this in approximately center. Now, the nose goes between this, so this is going to determine how wide the nose is going to be. Um, this part of the nose will probably be fairly skinny, so it doesn't cover up the eyes. So, here's the thing. If I start cutting in this now, and I'm not center to center like I want to be, I'm going to have to make this whole form over again. I'll tell you, I sure wish I had an artist over here doing this for me. <laughs> Man, I'll tell you. Well, like I say, I've never tried any of this before. This is all stuff that I've never, never done before. I've made Halloween costumes and things, but never trying to make a human form. That's something completely different. Well, I'm going to cut on the inside of this line here. These felt tip markers, this particular one's very thick, so I'm going to cut on the inside. Probably about the best I can do, but we'll cut on the inside. You can always take more off. So I'll come back on this video when I get that done. 
pretty crappy job if you ask me. I pushed it in so it's closer to the eyeballs but you can see it don't look right. I just put some tape on it to hold everything in but you know this is going to turn out more of a mechanical thing than a human form I'm afraid. So I'm going to I mean I got more work to do on it but you know, being it's an old man, I can't put black eyelashes on it. I'm going to have eyebrows, but uh, as far as eyelashes to kind of cover up some of that stuff, I won't be able to do that. But anyways, I just put it in there for now. The holes that could have been... Well, you know, I could probably fill in the centers a little bit with some masking tape but it won't be nice and smooth as far as the curvature is concerned uh, that's why I wanted to use plastic so we'll see now that's a little better it hides the uh, opening there it's a little better I just stuck this masking tape down on the bottom right here that's temporary that's a piece I used before for something else. I think we're looking, uh, looking a lot better now because I want him to have a big nose you know so uh, yeah I think I'm pretty satisfied with that for somebody who's a half-ass artist I'll have to say it don't look too 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 bad. Alright there's a lot more to do on this yet what I gotta do is to build up the sides see what these uh, blocks are for the uh, where I was going to put the centering springs which I end up not doing because of the too much tension and they don't work no matter how strong of a spring I have but anyways um, what I um, I'm going to do is to build up the sides make them more rounded I'll just we'll put some newspaper in there and build it up so it'll cover up this uh, these blocks that are on the side here the ears are going on here anyway so I just don't have to build it up all that much and the front, um, as you're looking at it, of course the nose and the mouth, so I may not have to build that up too much, but I will have to do some kind of detail work on it. And the top, of course, that's last. Uh, I still have to find a proper top for that. Well, as you can see, I'm just putting some paper towel in here, building it up a little to get it level with this. And then, uh, you know, I'll do some more detail work on this. It's never going to be perfect, but, um, you know, just trying to get the head to be less square. So it'll be a little more, a little more rounded if I can do that. I don't know yet. All right, I built it up a little bit. It needs more building up, but I'm going to leave it right now until I decide how I'm going to make the ears and so forth. And um, naturally, there's going to be more tape going on here once I put the top on. Then I have to blend that in. I gotta find a top that's rounded, uh, that's smooth and round, because I want that to be bald. I don't want any ridges. I was gonna use a bowl, but a bowl has a ridge on it, so it can stand on the table. We can't have that, so we gotta find something else. And, uh, not looking too bad. Giving us the evil eye now. I picked these uh, bowls up at the dollar store, they're four for a buck. It's five and a half inches in diameter, and that is perfect for the top of the head. The only problem is, it's got this stem, uh, because you've got to have it for a bowl. It's got this on it. I need a smooth dome, but I picked them up because only a buck, but they fit perfectly. They fit perfectly on this. Once I make this whole thing completely round like I want to, See, that's going to fit, that bowl's going to fit on there perfectly. But I would rather have a little taller dome. That would really look neat, but smooth, you know, not with this on it. So I'm going to keep looking because that's the last, one of the last things I'm going to put on this, but I can't put a dome on this. I can't finish it up, I should say, with the tape and everything, completely 100% until I get the dome on here. Then the dome will be taped on here too. So I can't 
finish it up until I get a, a cap, top cap for this. Well, thank you for watching. We'll catch you on the next portion, next series, which I believe is going to be part nine. Thank you for watching.